4 o'clock, and we invite you to join us and, and be a part of the conversation. The number to call is 888-539-2980. That's 888-539-2980. We're, we're talking about how do you present yourself? What did you do that you knew when you were in an interview because of your strategy, because of the game plan that you executed, you knew you had them? You There's a time in a presentation, you know that it's a done deal, that you've got that job, you got that promotion, you got that career, you got that that goal that you were reaching for. We want to know that. And the number to call so you can share your story and inspire somebody that perhaps they have not been as skillful or as fortunate as you, the number is called 888-539-2980. 888-539-2980. Here's something that I value. I know that words are very powerful. As a kid's mama used to say, sticks and stones can break your bones. But words can never hurt you. Trust me on this. Words can hurt you, and they can cut very deeply. And and I, I remember the words that were spoken to me at, at, at this stage of my life. I can remember Mrs. Mary Ford Williams at Douglas Elementary School, and they were pointing at kids who, who they felt that should be put back from the fifth grade to the fourth grade. And, and she pointed me out and said, there's one there. He's educable, mentally retarded. Put him back from the fifth grade to the fourth grade. And being a twin... Being a twin, Wesley, my twin brother, he was in the fifth grade, and there they put me in the fourth grade, and I became known as DT, the dumb twin. And that impacted me, and 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 from that point on, different times in my life, I choked. That that conversation comes up in my head. I remember this 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 movie called Magnolia, and there's a line with Tom Cruise in there said, "We might be through with our past." But our past is not through with us. Has anything ever been said to you that an event, an experience in your life, and we know everything is is lying dormant in our subconscious mind. It's there. It can come up at any time, and there's certain things that can trigger that memory and can bring that up for you. That's what happened to me, and it's it's happened over the years. It's not as strong as it used to be. It used to be very strong, very, very powerful. I've been in situations, I have the ability, I have the talent, I have the answers, I have the skill, and I choked. The people judging me based upon how I presented myself on that particular day, they did not see the Les Brown, the real Les Brown. Has that ever happened to you? Of course, it happened to everybody. And 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 one of the things when I think about something Christine Goser said, she said, don't ask for an easier life. Ask to be a stronger person. I realize that it, it was just not my strength because I I would choke in, in various situations when I was called upon to read something that I, I didn't have the ability and the clarity of mind to control the nervousness in my stomach and in my voice to present the confident real me. I said, Lord, make me stronger in another way. Give me the ability to glimpse something, to see it, to read it one time and to memorize it. I can hear a quote one time and I've got it. I've got it. And I say, as, as we begin to look at that, that don't ask for life to be easier for you. Ask to be a stronger person, and you'd be surprised of how the universe will respond, of talents and abilities and other things that you have going for you that will come to the surface, that will begin to emerge for you. And, and as you begin to look at yourself and as you affirm yourself each and every day, it's key. And, 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 and when you are presenting yourself, there's some things that we can, we can take from and glean from what Eric said that we call Mr. Integrity. He said, when I'm in an interview, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be straightforward. They're going to feel that for me. If they ask me something I don't know, I will say to them, you know, I should know that, but I don't. And I'll get back to you. Mr. Authenticity, Lewis, he said, uh, you know, I'm, I'm the kind of guy when I'm in an interview, I'm going to be real with them. I'm going to sell myself. I'm going to tell them what I'm going to do. And I'm going to honor my word as myself. And and he did that. He sold a guy because in the business he was in, you had to have a book of business. And he didn't have that. And he told this guy, look, I, I can do this job. And the guy believed him. And, and gave him a shot. Didn't have a book of business. He gave him an opportunity. And he has a loyal employer, employee, and he has a guy that's doing the job. And then we had another Lewis who said, man, I'm, I, I just, I believe in myself. I And you got to believe in yourself. And we call him Mr. Believe in Yourself. And he said, you got to be fired up about who you are, what you have, what you want, and where you're going. You got to be hungry. 
hungry. Absolutely. See, if you're casual about your dream, as Bill Bailey, formerly of Best Line Products, once said, if you're casual about your dream, you will end up a casualty. You got to be hungry. Yes, people that are hungry are willing to do the things today others won't do in order to have the things tomorrow others won't have. People that are hungry believe always strive to get on top in life because it's the bottom that's overcrowded. Listen, I'm so excited about doing this job and, and, and talking with you every day. And I'm looking for you to come and see me at the fair this Friday. You can get in early. and that opens at 5 o'clock for everybody else. But people who like to sneak in and get in free, I want you to come in and, and see us do this broadcast live. This is my first public appearance here at, at the fair, and I'm excited. Remember, demonstration beats conversation all day long. My name is Les Brown. I'm Mrs. Mamie Brown's baby boy. Thank you so much for listening. You have something special. You've got greatness within you. Get out of your head and get into your greatness. You're listening to KFWB News Talk 980.